How's it going guys? This is Chris Calder with uh, Tutorial 12 in our Rapid Composer series. This one goes right along with our uh, revised manual and this is the chapter on how to use Rapid Composer as a VST inside a DAW and in this case and inside the manual we use Reaper 4. So uh, this is scenario 1 so I'm just going to walk you guys through the same way the manual does and we're going to start with a you know basically a blank reaper project which isn't right now but that's okay so the first track i created was a track that i called rc output and i put the rapid composer vst on it as you can see it's there right and then i created two more tracks um and after i created these two tracks i moved the rc output to the to the bottom track 1 i like to match as midi channel 1 and track two I like to match as MIDI channel two. Same thing with Rapid Composer. So, so what I did is uh, I created uh, this track. I called it One Melody Chip Tune. So basically, it's a chip tune VST called Magical 8-Bit Plug. It's a freeware VST. And then on track two, I called this Two Chords, you know, Electric Piano. And then this is Lazy Snake by a Swedish developer. Um, another freeware VST. Beautiful sound. Very useful. This uh, this instance of Rapid Composer is basically six tracks, whatever. I just threw a bunch of stuff together, but track one in Rapid Composer has melody generators, which are going to be playing through the chiptune VST on uh, Reaper track one here, MIDI channel one. Track two in Rapid Composer contains chord generators, which are going to play through the Lazy Snake VST on track two inside Reaper. So first we got to get used to our routing which is pretty easy. All you have to do is once you create your tracks and you put your VSTs on them, you click your I.O. You're going to add a new receive even though this has already been uh, set up already. This is not going to show up, but you're going to add a new receive. You're going to uh, receive from RC output. okay? And then you're going to change your MIDI from all and all to one and one. okay? It's already been changed, but it defaults to MIDI all and all. You're going to go one and one. You can do the same thing for track two. Click your I.O. Add a new receive. RC output one. Again, it's already been done. Change this from all to all to two and two. Okay. Another important thing you have to do is you have to go into here. Whoops. You have to go in here again. Input MIDI. Map input to channel. Channel one. Okay. And then on here Again, once you set that, go a little further down. It's not going to have a check mark next to it. Map input to channel and change that to channel 2. So this way, when you select the track, it's playing the uh, VST that you have on that track. So you know, I got my MIDI keyboard connected. I'm just kind of messing around with the chiptune VST on MIDI channel 1. Then I select track 2 in Reaper. Now I'm playing Lazy Snake. Okay. Very useful, and you know, Rapid Composer has to know this, so the melody generator is going to be automatically assigned to MIDI channel one because Rapid Composer automatically assigns MIDI channels as you add tracks. Okay, so as you can see, auto assigned one, channel two, auto assigned two, right? And that's why you got to set Reaper to understand that, right? So once you get all that done, you know, you know, you just make a Rapid Composer chord progression, you know, you throw your generators on, do what you want, and then you play it just to hear what it sounds like. Obviously it's, even though there's six tracks in Rapid Composer, you're only going to hear two, you know, the first two, and this is what they are. You know, it's simple. I'm not trying to win a Grammy with this, just uh, for demonstration purposes. So that's pretty much how you set it. Uh, MIDI can be really confusing. Even the most professional uh, keyboardists and MIDI experts still, you know, get annoyed by MIDI. It's it's an incredibly powerful thing, but it can be really annoying. So um, it's best to understand the MIDI routing capabilities of your DAW, and you know your you know which VST instruments you like and yada yada all that stuff so how's it going guys welcome back this is scenario two from the uh, 
updated Rapid Composer manual on how to use Rapid Composer as a VST inside a DAW, and in this case Reaper 4. Scenario 2 is for people who like to use multi-timbral or multi-channel VSTs. Um, some people like to use Contact, uh, some people like to use Sample Tank 2. There's tons of other multi-channel, multi-timbral VSTs that let you do that let you deal with like 16 different instruments on 16 different MIDI channels with one instance of the plugin, which uh, saves memory, um, saves CPU, that kind of stuff. So basically, here's how you set it up in Reaper if you are using a multi-timbral VST. In this case, we're going to use Sample Tank 2. Okay. So Basically, we start with a new track in Reaper, and we're going to call this RC Output, and we're going to obviously put the Rapid Composer VST on it. And then, after we do that, we're going to create a, another track in Reaper. We're going to call this, you know, whatever our VST is. In this case, I'm going to call it Sample Tank Out. Voila, there it is. As it says in the manual, we're going to set up Sample Tank um, in the following order. Uh, slot 1 is going to be a chords uh, instrument for a chord generator. Slot 2 is going to be a melody instrument for the melody generator. We're probably going to use one of the vocal patches in Sample Tank. Uh, 3 is going to be the bass line, a bass instrument, and 4 is going to be like a guitar, like a finger picking thing. So let's find some quick stuff. So we'll pick uh, electric piano for slot 1. For slot 2, I'm going to go pick some, pick a vocal patch. Let's see, we'll do that, and then we'll kind of mess with this a little bit, and that. And we're going to crank up the volume of the melody track, keep the piano kind of low. And for channel 3, we're going to drop a bass in there, we'll use that one. And for channel 4, we're going to use a guitar, and just a basic acoustic, and acoustic 12. Turn that up a little bit. So after we do that, we're going to go to Options, and it says build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track. So you do that, Reaper creates a bunch of tracks, we can get rid of most of these, let's keep only the first four, so I'm highlighting them, I'm deleting them, just, to, just so we can keep track of everything without having a huge project. So now we have to route this stuff to sample tank out, which I think is already routed. Let's double check. Yep, it is. So if we click the I.O., it's receiving from all these tracks. And notice how the MIDI channels have already been set. They say all in one, all two, all three, all four. This should work, but if, in case you run into problems, change the all to match the number right here. Okay. So now we're going to highlight these tracks. We're going to right-click the record arm button and we're going to have it automatically record arm when track is selected. We're going to set record monitoring on. It's got MIDI all, all channels. So now we're going to set the map input to channel to each uh, thing, each individual channel. So this is the second channel in sample tank. This is the third and then we're going to do channel 4. Okay, so now if I have any of these tracks highlighted, they're going to play the sample tank instrument. All right. So I'm, I have that track selected. Now this, there's a little vocal patch for the melody track. There's a little bass. Not the loudest, but, you know, whatever. Oh, that's why. And channel 4 is our little guitar sound. All right. So now what we have to do is we have to route uh, Rapid Composer to Sample Tank, because we want to send the MIDI from Rapid Composer to Sample Tank, which has already been routed. All we have to do is click the I.O. of the Sample Tank Out track, and we're going to receive from RC Output. And that should, yeah, okay. Now, basically, you know, we have our basic Rapid Composer composition. Again, it's not going to win any awards, and we don't care. Just for demonstration purposes. And I have six tracks here, but I'm only using the first four. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to change channel four to finger picking generators. Whoops, wrong one. Duh. 
All right. And channel three is our base. Channel two, whoops, everything's kind of backwards. Whatever, no big deal. Fill channel two with melody generators. And fill channel one with chords because we have our road sound for, um, you know, that track. So basically, in Rapid Composer, again, channel one, chords, right? Channel two, melody generators. Channel three, bass generators. Channel four, finger picking generators. We're just going along with the same stuff that the manual uh, mentions and you know walking you guys through a little bit because um, a lot of people hate reading so we wanted to give you guys you know a nice video just kind of giving you a step-by-step -step walk through on how it's done so you know again uh, using other DAWs the steps are probably going to be the same as in other DAWs like Studio One or Pro Tools or whatever I don't know I don't really use those I'm a Reaper fan myself um, so you know, it's just like you just got to understand how your DAW routes MIDI and its limitations or its lack of limitations. And uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful and stick around for scenario three. So this particular part of the chapter is scenario three, which is how to record the MIDI output from Rapid Composer into Reaper on Reaper MIDI tracks. So the easiest way to do this is after we create all of our tracks that have our, our desired VSTs on them, we have to route everything. So easiest way to do this is to basically pick one at a time, one of the uh, each of the separate VST tracks, go into your I/O, uh, go to the receives section. So the RC output track is going to be sending MIDI to each of these individual uh, tracks that have their own VSTs on them. You guys follow so far? It's a little confusing, but MIDI is <laughs> in general. So we're going to set a receive to the RC output. And while we're here, we could change this because it's going to be defaulted to MIDI all and then all right here. But notice how it says one. I already changed it. So if, if you're on track one, MIDI channel one, we want to make that definitely MIDI channel one, not MIDI all, because it'll create a cacophonous sound of, you know, craziness, and we don't want that. Another shortcut, if you don't want to do it that way, is you can click the I.O. of the RC output track after you create all of your receives, and you'll notice that the RC output track has all the sends, and you could do it all from here, because it's a little faster. So you just change all to one, one, Two, two. Again, I hope you guys are following this. It's a little confusing. I'm actually doing this tutorial at 3 in the morning. I'm half watching the movie Playing by Heart with Jon Stewart. Love that movie. So good. And so I'm like half asleep, but something I got to get done. So I hope you guys appreciate uh, this tutorial. So highlight all six of these tracks at once. We can change this from record input audio or MIDI, which is the Reaper default, to record output record output MIDI. So now we can arm all these tracks. You know, again, they're all highlighted, so I click one and they all arm. And now all I got to do is um, press record in Reaper. So yeah, that sounds pretty cool, you know, and as you could see, all the MIDI was recorded. A lot of users seem to prefer working with MIDI inside their DAW instead of, you know, a new program such as Rapid Composer. But, uh, you know, whatever you like. The option's there if you want it, and it's, you know, pretty cool. So that is Scenario 3 from the Rapid Composer Revised Manual.